Um, then it was just sort of like this joke that there was like this perfect guy, because it was like, it's like a sci-fi story, there's always like the perfect guy who's like investigating things. And that was kind of what I was writing it as at first, but it's just, I, I find characters that are jokes boring. Um, I like them to be more than a joke. Um, and so, like, kind of in doing that, we, we started to develop this thing where it, that became more than a joke. And, and it, it was a very organic thing. Again, we didn't really plan ahead much in that first year. And so it was just gradually it became a realer and realer thing. And then it was, you know, eventually we realized what we were writing. And, and it, I don't know. Um, yeah, we, we, it, it was a very gradual organic thing. And it was just sort of eventually we're like, okay, let's... Let's go with this. Let's keep developing this. Let's see, so I don't know if you have anything to add. No, I mean, you know, like uh, the part part of the thing about performing performing Cecil is that um, I've become more and more comfortable with recording these podcasts over the the course of the last year and a half, and um, you know, sort of the giddiness of being excited about a new relationship is something that I think everyone can relate to. I mean, I know I can, and, you know, I was reading these scripts, and, you know, um, and as the, the, the episodes went on, it allowed me to break out of the sort of, you know, very tight shirt, um, uh, uh, you know, stuffed color radio announcer. You know, so, like, whenever Carlos was mentioned, it, it became an opportunity for me to give the audience a different side of Cecil, and that, you know, could be, you know, giddy fangirl. Uh, I'm waiting on the fangirl. Yeah, I mean, first time ever, and well, never fangirled so hard. Yeah, and I mean, it's, and it's something that, you know, like, like Joseph said, you want characters, you know, you don't want them to be jokes, you don't want them to be plot points, you want them to be well-rounded, you know, uh, uh, you know, creations, um, and, and to relate to them as humans. And, you know, I think there's, you know, there's something that everybody in them has these opportunities for seriousness and, and playfulness and, um, you know, like, uh, you know, hatred and, you know, dark and good and everything kind of mixed together. So it just, it seemed like a really fun way to incorporate just a different side of Cecil. And, you know, where it went after that is just, you know, it's, well, you all know the story, you know. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you so very much. Yeah, yeah thank no you. Problem.